Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all really well. Today we have a video based around easy outfit ideas. These are definitely daytime outfit ideas um, for autumn, winter, when it's a little bit cooler and then you can kind of adapt and adjust these to your wardrobe, to your climate, etc. Uh, so I know these outfit inspo uh, videos always go down really well. So I've got a range of like very casual but chic outfits that still feel like put together but still casual. And then I've got some more workwear looks. And then I've got some kind of middle of the road outfits, not really dressy, not really casual. So there's a kind of spectrum of looks here for the daytime. So as usual, I'll talk you through all the outfits. Links will be in the description box below where possible. So let's get on with outfit number one. I'm kind of obsessed with this outfit. I actually think this is my favorite in the whole collection of outfits that I've done. I love this set. So this is a cashmere set, it's on the rail. This is from Lily Silk and this first section of the video is in sponsored partnership with Lily Silk. You know I always love working with them. I do have some great discount codes as well for you. They are running a Black Friday sale at the minute, so that's something to note, but I also have some personal discount codes. So you can get 15% off absolutely everything with the code LYDIA15. So that's capital L, lowercase, Lydia, um, the rest of my name, and then number 15, that will get you 15% off. I'll pop it on screen, I'll pop it in the description box below. Also, if you use Lydia 20 in the same kind of format, that will get you 20% off on orders over $500. Obviously, Lily Silk's focus is very much higher quality product, higher quality fabric. So having those discount codes is really helpful um, to get the most beautiful quality. So let's talk about this outfit and this set in particular. This is a cashmere set. It also, the hoodie is detachable, which I think is so cool, um, but I just kind of love it with it on. I love the beige. This just feels so elevated. Um, and let me tell you, the quality of all of these pieces and the feel of them, they are just the most soft, comfortable, luxurious feeling fabrics when you put these on. And especially a set, I feel like it's that time of year where you need to invest in a beautiful, cozy matching set. Um, and this is it. And then you can style it um, in different ways. You can actually kind of make it feel a little bit more polished and put together. So what I did over the top was put on this double-faced wool blend robe coat. And I'm actually styling this um, in a few of the outfits as well. So you'll be able to see ways to wear, but it is a really classic coat. And again, I can't stress enough the feel of this and the quality. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this coat. I think it's beautiful. It's classic, it's timeless. We all kind of need one like this. It's also not too orange. I think it's showing up um, a little bit maybe darker in cam on camera. It's just a really nice camel shade. It will go with so much. I love toning it with the cashmere and I think that's what really elevates this outfit. With the tonal trainers, with the tonal sunglasses, you can kind of go for that all tonal look and it just feels a lot more elevated. I talk about that all the time. Um, but this is just such a stunning coat and I'm wearing it in the other outfits so you'll be able to see it in those too. So for the next look, just a quick change to show you how to do this slightly differently if you're not like a hoodie kind of person and want something even cozier, next level cozy, then this is the turtleneck relaxed fit cashmere sweater, 100% cashmere. And again, the quality of this, it feels absolutely beautiful. It's like the softest cashmere I've ever touched. It's really, really nice. And then what I particularly love about the shape of this is the turtleneck. So on a chunkier knit like this, this is a kind of bigger oversized knit. I think I've concluded that I do prefer this turtleneck collar. Just has that kind of modern feel about it, but still very timeless. And then on a tighter knit like this one, I prefer a roll neck rather than a turtleneck. Just, I don't know why I've kind of concluded that. I just feel like they kind of look better, but I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Style this with your cashmere trousers, but also in so many ways, like just with these jeans. You can't go wrong with a simple knit like this in a beige. And again, it just pairs so nicely with the coat I had in the first outfit. Okay. So my next outfit is a little bit more of a workwear style look or a bit more of a formal daytime look. And it is this skirt. Well, we're starting with this skirt. This is an ultra fine merino knit skirt. You know my love and obsession 
of merino knits. Um, I just love the feel of a merino. Um, I love that it's lightweight, but not too lightweight, if that makes sense. Again, this skirt is beautiful quality. It feels so nice to wear. It's very, very flattering. I love it with like a long flat boot or you could go for a long heel boot to dress it up. But I do think we are, we, I mean, I love the maxi length, don't get me wrong, but I do think we are seeing a bit more of this midi length starting to creep in now. A bit more of a just below the knee and I love it with that long boot look. And the A-line shape of this skirt really goes with so much, but I decided to pair it with this silk cashmere blend sweater that I'm wearing now. <laughs> Let me tell you, this will be like my ultimate wardrobe staple. It is the softest roll neck I have ever had in my entire life. The quality is stunning. It feels so nice to wear. I love that it's not thick. It makes a really, really nice layering piece, but as you can see from the cutaway, you can just simply wear it on its own, tucked into something like a skirt, some wide leg trousers, jeans. It's one of those pieces that you can literally wear for any occasion. You could wear it for evening, dressed up with some earrings. You can wear it for workwear, a layering piece, casually. And just the, the fabric of this really is beautiful. So it's 90% silk and 10% cashmere. And it's like the ultimate blend of fabric. Um, and if you're looking to invest in some really, really nice quality wardrobe staples, then I would definitely recommend this. So for my next look, this is actually the same as the beige um, from earlier that I wore in my second outfit, but it's the white version. And I really think everybody needs like an off-white oversized turtleneck in their wardrobes. Again, it's kind of like this black fine one. Um, you can wear it for the evening. I love, love, love these dressed up with like a dark red lip some really bold earrings, um, leather trousers, a leather skirt. Then you could wear it much more casually, jeans like this. So many ways to wear different shapes of trousers, wide leg trousers, straight leg trousers. Um, but I personally find this shade a really, really useful one in the wardrobe. And like I said about this neckline, it's a really nice neckline. I love as well that it's not too long. It's like comes a bit shorter at the front if you can see that. So you can kind of tuck it in if you want to. I've worn it with the skirt look again, just to give a bit of brightness to the look um, with the darker boots and the skirt. And again, this is 100% cashmere. So just feels so beautiful on. My final piece from uh, Lily Silk is the Daphne sweater. Again, I wish you could touch this and believe what I'm saying because this is so beautiful. It's incredibly soft. The quality, I couldn't recommend more. 100% cashmere. This is a lovely one for workwear, I think, but I decided to style it in a bit more of a casual way in the cutaway. This is like a really nice, smart, casual look. So I've gone for these jeans that I'm wearing here. Simple white t-shirt layered underneath, but I do think this would look nice kind of without the layering and just with like maybe a bold necklace. Then you could dress it up in the evening in a similar way to the other white turtleneck how I was explaining. I do think this would be nice dressed up for kind of casual evenings. In this case, I decided to put the coat back on with this outfit. I love this off-white creamy shade with the camel of the coat. It just works so nicely. And then with the denim as well, just works really, really well. And this is just another alternative to wearing those darker colors. It doesn't feel like too nervy to wear because it's not like a head to toe white look, but you're still bringing that brightness to your outfit. Outfit. It is the season of gifting, so a quick shout out to Lily Silk's pajamas. They do lots of kind of other things other than clothes, so pajamas, silk pillowcases, that kind of thing. Is there anything nicer to receive at Christmas than a beautiful pair of silk pajamas? I love the print of this as well. So that it's like this kind of greeny shade. I just think these are so luxurious. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you could even get away with wearing these tucked in in the evening with a great heel, blazer over your shoulders, some sparkly earrings. And I think this could even make a really good evening look. And they have a really nice uh, selection. So if you didn't want this color, they have lots of different shades and patterns online as well. Um, but I just thought I'd give them a shout out because they are beautiful quality. I'll link the sizes in the description box below, but don't forget my discount code Lydia15, which is 15% off everything or Lydia20, which applies to any orders over $500. So my next look, I decided to go for another jeans outfit. So 
I've kept these ones on and just done a bit of layering to add some interest to the outfit. This is a combination I did a lot last year and I think I'm gonna bring back out again now that it's gone colder. So I kept this lily silk roll neck on and then over the top of that, because this is so fine, it works so nicely with layering. So over the top of that, I did um, my denim shirt, but I think any shirt would look good with this. And if you wanted to wear it for work, you could do the exact same look with some smarter trousers and a white shirt or a blue shirt. But with the denim, I think it looks really cool. I tied it in with the black accessories, the black coat, just keeping it kind of simple, just black and denim, because we've got quite a lot going on within the layering of the outfit. I personally really love this combination. One of my favorites, I think it adds interest to your outfit. It creates those layers while still being quite minimal at the same time. Next, I am loving a kind of buttoned up chunky cardigan or boucle jacket, like worn as a top. And I decided, I've kind of been wearing this look a lot with trousers, leather trousers, jeans. I thought this would actually look really nice with a skirt. So I've decided to go for my faux leather skirt from my collection with Naked last year. I'll try and link something similar for anything that's not in stock anymore. Um, I will be linking alternatives, but just a really nice combination. These new boots are the same as my lower, not lower, ankle boots from by far. These ones are the tall leg version. I actually managed to get 20% off using um, one of my own codes, but they're such a great pair of boots. They are a bit more on the expensive side, but they're incredibly comfortable, great quality. And I feel like I didn't have like an elegant pair of flat knee boots. Well, I know I didn't have that. And I found that I've kind of, I've worn them throughout this video. So I really think they're going to be useful in styling in real life as well. But yeah, just with the straight skirt and the buttoned up cardigan, again, really easy look that everyone can do, do a rendition of in your wardrobe. But I do think having those kind of chunky cardigans or jackets really just kind of bring something different to the look and to your wardrobe. So as a dress look, I decided to go for this long one from Almada um, with a bit of cable knit detail. Um, and then I just layered that up with the cream coat also from Almada. And um, I love this combination of the cream on cream. This is definitely a really nice way to do smart daytime. Tonal, especially in these light shades, a dress, but like a knitted dress to keep it a bit more casual. Again, I've got the boots on, the by far long boots with the black bag. If you are not sure how to incorporate your black boots into a lighter outfit, just bring a black bag on board or a black belt. Um, it does definitely give it that more cohesive feel. I don't think it needs it, but I do think it kind of does cement and tie the outfit together if you feel like your boots maybe look a bit heavy or a bit alone <laughs> because they're dark boots. And um, then think about bringing dark into your accessories as well. Next is an all gray look. Gray is a very big color for the season and just makes a nice change from a head to toe black look. Wide leg um, gray trousers. I've got this gray oversized um, coat. Well, it's like a cropped oversized coat with a big matching scarf. This one's from Marcella London um, and also just a matching knit underneath. I decided to go for a bit of a pop with the burgundy bag. You know what? I'm growing to this whole red trend. I wasn't sure about it at first, the whole bright red pop of red thing. I'm still not 100% because I think it looks very obvious, but I do love the darker red. I think it's a, a lot more subtle. It doesn't feel too much like you're following the trend, but it's incorporating the trend in, in that way. And I do think it's also a little bit more stand the test of time. I think the red is very much like the pink we saw or we've seen in previous years. It might kind of have its time we might get sick of it very easily whereas the burgundy or the dark red is a nice way to inject the trend while still being wearable and not kind of wasting your money on anything too trend led so a nice burgundy accessory or a wine colored accessory a jumper this one's old demelier but um i'm trying to link something similar and then for my final outfit you just can never go wrong with a white pair of jeans this is my favorite shape and style of jean from um Arket, and i just love the fit of them this is a rose cropped straight 
True to size, I get my 27 and I think I've got two pairs of these. I love them, they're so easy to wear. So just pop those on. Any kind of boots, I think any kind of ankle boots would look chic or something a bit more fitted that you can kind of fit under the boot. Heeled boot would work nicely or a flat boot. And then I decided to go again for that kind of buttoned cardigan look. This one's from Anne Daughter, which is a beautiful brand and I buttoned it all the way to the top and then went for the lily silk coat to finish it off. Ties in really nicely with that beige. I love nothing more than a tonal neckline on a tonal neckline, if that makes sense. So like matching your neckline to your jacket or your coat. I just think it looks so chic and works so nicely, especially in a color that's maybe not like black. Um, that is a little bit more unexpected, like the camel, you could do it in a beige or a gray or a burgundy even like we were talking about. So um, I love doing that kind of matching look. Um, and then again, like I mentioned with the black boots, I've got black boots on here. There's just tie it in with some of your accessories accessories to just make sure your boots don't look too alone in the outfit. I really enjoyed filming all of those outfits and sometimes I film a video and I just gives me so much inspiration filming it and I'm excited to create a lot more looks this winter and let me know what you want to see coming up as well. Whilst I've got you here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, it always it means so much to me if you've subscribed and if you've been watching my videos and haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, just a little note, something to point out, is that a lot of the time I post shorts onto YouTube. Um, so shorts are just like a short format video. I'm sure you've all seen them by now. However, in the description box of the shorts, I don't know why this is the case, but you can't put like an active link. So I could put the link, but you can't really kind of copy you can't click on it and it open so what I've been doing is every time I've uploaded a short I will then post on my community page on YouTube with my links to the products for the short and hopefully that's just a way of working around that and then if not if that's maybe something you don't want to do you can always find my outfits most of the time on LTK LTK is an app that basically houses all of my looks so I'll do posts that feature all of my pieces and I'm trying to do them more for like YouTube videos as well so I try and put as much as possible on there also on the Klarna Creator app I'll leave the links for those below but it is really useful to just download the LTK app and then you can follow me all of my outfits will pop up consistently for you so if you aren't sure where anything's from and I've not managed to maybe reply to a comment then make sure you have a look on there as well because most of the time it will be on there. So I just thought I'd mention that because I know it's hard to find links sometimes. I try and make it as straightforward as YouTube or Instagram allows me to. It's just me kind of explaining where everything is. So hopefully that's been useful. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button. I will see you very shortly in my next YouTube video. Bye.